Our topic today is about releasing the effects of trauma from the body using sacred sound. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month and Sexual Assault Awareness Month. And so for this, this month, the remainder of this month, I want to be focusing on releasing trauma from the body that's going to be or releasing the effects and un unlocking the effects of trauma from the body and the nervous system today and then next week we're going to do a process with actually getting into the body because trauma is what separates us from ourselves and so often when we when we experience trauma the nature of it is to like rebound us out of our bodies because the body's not a safe place so today we want to release the, uh, the bound up constriction in the face the head the jaw the throat and the upper chest and then next week we're going to do a process with coming into the body grounding into the body landing in the body and then the week after that we're going to do a process with healing the heart and softening and opening the heart center so it's all going to be focused around releasing trauma and if you whether you've had experience direct experience with child abuse or sexual assault it it's if i mean if you um it, it doesn't matter if you have not you still have had things in your life because that is the nature of our life journey here on earth. I don't think any, anybody gets to get through this without some experiences that separate us from our bodies and separate us from our hearts and from our, our um, really grounded, centered, and super connected, super highway knowing selves. So that's gonna be our focus for this month. Our focus for today, again, is using sacred sound to release all of this constriction in the head, the face, the jaw, the throat, and the upper chest. Because what happens when you experience trauma, right, is you go, then like everything freezes. You take that deep, big deep breath in, and then everything freezes, and it's your body's way. It's not that you're doing anything wrong or reacting incorrectly or anything like that. This is your body's way of keeping you safe, like don't make a sound, don't make take a breath, nothing to keep yourself hidden, right? And that's what that does. It sucks all, everything in. And a lot of times you'll just bounce right out of your body to so that you don't have to experience what's going on there. So when we open this up, open up throat, chest, jaw, all of this here, we can take a deeper breath. We can free the voice. We can give ourselves ease, ease to speak, ease to be. This throat center is about how you show up in the world and how you appear in the world, how you align with who you are in the world or not, right? And so we're going to focus on releasing that, opening that, and really bringing through your presence through this upper centers, right? Next week, we ground in to the lower centers, really into the body, and then healing the heart. Okay, so let's go ahead and come into our circle. Let's come into our circle sitting side by side. 